Hello everybody. So here's my joke buster, as requested by uh, Eddie, or Gnome. No, that's not how you pronounce it apparently. Um, I'm just gonna show you, you know, how I bust on my Angelic Buster. And I guess I'll save any kind of explanations for the end. But yeah, if I miss anything, or if I'm playing the class wrong, please let me know in the comments and I will remake this video and hopefully show you the proper way to play this class. I noticed that Soul Resonance actually became a good skill once you can use a Soul Seeker Expert on it, or with it. Because then it releases a lot of uh, Soul Seekers. Like a lot of them. Now I'm not too sure if, um, if it activates Damage Reflect. It doesn't say that it, that it ignores it, so I assume it, it will get me killed if I try to use it. Um, while she's doing damage reflect. But for now I'm just gonna... I'm gonna wait for her to do damage reflect so I can use uh, Finale Ribbon. Because I don't want her to have the debuff on her, and then I can't attack. Because what Finale Ribbon says it does, I don't think it actually does this, but what it says it does is... it um... it increases your damage by 40% and your party members take 20% less damage. I don't know if I believe that, but um, I do notice that you don't actually gain any dam- or you don't reduce the damage you take by any percent. Like I still take the same amount of- oops. I still take the same amount of damage from uh, regular enemies with them debuffed by the finale ribbon. So I don't know about that. Anyway, Angelic Buster is the kind of class that has little lines, but with those lines she does massive damage. And I don't think I have any status resist, but I mean I don't think I don't think stun even bothers Trinity. Like I'm getting stunned, but I'm still attacking. So that's pretty cool. Like look, she's stunned. Oh no, I guarded it. Never mind. But yeah. Um I don't know, I really enjoy Angelic Busters. This class took like two days to get to this level back in the old day when they old days when they first came out. I died. Um, I guess I can't use potions while using Trinity. I didn't know that. So there's one thing. Or I lagged. I don't know. But yeah, make sure you use. Make sure you always have Soul Expert on, unless of course you're fighting Chaos Pierre because then you don't want to hit both. Uh, both things, and I got sucked up again. Can I? No. All right. <laughs> Healer, you're being very mean right now. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get over there and use my skills, but you're you're really stunning me and keeping me from doing it. Oh, you know what? Let me actually use this. So yeah, um, that's all I can really say about this class. I don't really have anything else to say. I, mean, I use Soul Seeker to find out when Damage Reflect is going to be over. And that's about it. They're very squishy for a... Uh, well, I mean, they're a dex class, so it makes sense that they're squishy, but... They have a barrier skill that protects them from damage. And of course, uh, if that shield ever goes away, just recharge. Just attack again. And um, you should be able to get the shield back. But, um, I mean, for a class that has a defensive skill, it's not very defensive. I mean, sure, I think you take half the damage that you normally take, but it's just... They need something more, like maybe HP regen on something. But, anyway. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. There's really nothing I can try to explain. Uh, Finale Ribbon says it increases your damage by 40%. I don't think it does, but maybe it... I, I don't know. I feel like it in, It does increase your damage, but I don't know by how much exactly. Like, 40%... I, I didn't notice it go up that much. And the party member damage does not work on yourself, I noticed. So I haven't partied anybody to find out if they take less damage. I'm sure they do. Um, this attack... I did a battle, battle analysis. 
and found out that spamming Trinity, as long as you, I'm sure, as long as you have the hyper skill, because I have the um, plus one attack and recharge chance. Oh, never mind. I have the plus one attack, so I'm hitting three lines instead of just two. Um, so I'm pretty sure without this, Soul Resonance is a better blasting skill when you can activate it. But otherwise, I think with this on, or with this, Trinity is better. Just by a little bit. I mean, they're pretty close. Um, in 10 seconds, or 9 seconds, this did about 27 mil, and this, or Trinity did 30. So, I mean, yeah. And then you have, you have to, it also summons a lot more Soul Seekers, so you have to take that into account as well. And that's all I can really say about this class. I mean, mobbing skill is very wide range, very long range as well, very powerful. And yeah, I guess I'll just end it there. See you in the next video.